OWL provides networking and connectivity to the people, places, and communities that need it the most. And we do that through hardware and software working together. We built these little IoT devices we call Ducks and they can network together off-grid and off-cellular to provide a communications network for individuals to connect to and message folks, whether it be their family or first responders, to stay connected in the event that traditional infrastructure and electricity is completely offline. Project OWL's here at the University of Puerto Rico, MyOS, because uh, they wanted to deploy some uh, ducks here, um, which the faculty seemed to be pretty amenable to helping Project OWL, because I think they recognize the change that Project OWL can make and the, the technology that they can bring to the island of Puerto Rico. Um, and, and I think it's, it's an excellent opportunity for Project OWL as well as the university, uh, because it also enables students to get involved with this. Uh, I know that they had uh, a couple student leaders here put together people that will actually maintain this stuff um, here locally, which is really great because it gives the students an opportunity to learn, which is something we always like to do, uh, reach out to students and get them engaged in technology and get them excited. But it also helps provide the infrastructure here should it ever need to be utilized uh, in the case of an emergency or in the case of, uh, you know, just future development on things students come up with to use with the Project OWL network. Well, my goal for the team is to be able to deploy maintenance and create new technologies with the OWL software and the OWL hardware to be able to expand their network, not only here in Maya West, in the west side of Puerto Rico, but also in, in the whole of the island. You know, working with other teams in the university and with the main team at Project OWL to be able to make sure that the network is in place for what it needs to be there for. There are still some challenges we need to face to build this uh, platform to be used in day-to-day -day lives. And the main goal is to get more ducks on the island. Um, right now we have a lot of ducks deployed here at the university, but our final goal is to get as much ducks as possible to connect the whole island together when there's no communication services available. We concluded our Puerto Rico 3 deployment having deployed 27 ducks in total now across the island. These are solar powered, off-grid, self-sustaining wireless communications devices. We've done this now across five separate locations in Puerto Rico from San Juan, Bayamon, Isabella, Mayaguez, and Umacao. Uh, we may explore going to additional locations this spring in Puerto Rico based on needs of the community. Um, and where our partners on the ground recommend us to explore and deploy at later on. The last deployment we completed was Umacao, deploying four devices across the town there. We anticipate returning this spring to deploy more, more duck links to this location. We've greatly enjoyed the opportunity to collaborate with over 20 students and administrators from the University of Puerto Rico, Mayaguez, and we look forward to working with this group uh, even in a remote capacity into the future from New York City to Puerto Rico, but we're really hoping to return to the island sometime in spring of 2020. Um, and we look forward to continuing to iterate, deploy, improve, and expand our networks on the ground to provide connectivity to the people, places, and things that need it most.